Okay, I consider this my first uh, successful wind generator, homemade wind generator I made. I was kind of happy with it. I had a lot of troubles getting the coupler figured out, getting it just even getting it going just for the first time. I was so happy with it. And after I made one for my brother-in-law, that simple bike wind wheel, bike wheel windmill, I painted it up nice and my wife was giving me heck. She doesn't like my license plates on here and she just doesn't think it looks very nice so we'll see what she says after this project. So this is my windmill makeover. Alright, I kind of got in a hurry and I tried to do a few things different but it's going to look better than the license plates on this side. Uh, we'll just see what the other side ends up looking like yet. I'm not sure. I might try to do a little funky painting and see if it does a little different too. Okay, I got my main frame of my wind generator in here. And I decided just for the heck of it, I was going to be a little, try to be a little funny with my wife seeing this. And I'm going to put me some eyeballs on it. And uh, just for the heck of it. I'm going to glue them on there and we'll go from there. Yeah, looky there. That baby's going to be able to look and see which way the wind's coming from and just turn right into the wind. Got my eyeballs on there. I'll finish up my tail feather here in just a minute and we'll put it on and see what it does. You can see here on my, just on my windmills, I got a good wind today. I uh, got my little first windmill I ever made to, or successful windmill made over. Got some little eyeballs on there so you can see into the wind. And uh, got some color on it now. So see what that looks like once it's up. Well, we'll just see if my wife notices any difference or not. But, uh, I guess it may look a little bit better if nothing else. It's got a couple eyeballs on it now so it can see what's going around. A little different angle here. I'm probably uh, oh, 10 feet, maybe 15, 20 feet off the ground, but I got so many cotton picking trees around here that uh, we're not going to be able to spin too good. Until all the leaves fall.